Hey guys, so my hair is currently drying right now and I'm about to do a full face and I thought wouldn't it be fun to show you guys how I do my everyday makeup. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so typically on a normal day I would wear sunscreen but since we're quarantined I'm not going outside at all. So what I'm going to do is start with this Becca First Light Priming Filter. It just gives like a nice dewy glow so I love this. Obviously it's purple but it doesn't go on purple. So next up I'm going to use my Holy Grail Primer for the under eye which is this Smashbox Photo Finish Under Eye Primer. So I'm going to just take this and just go under my eye and then just rub that in. So if you ever have trouble with your under eyes creasing, this is the product for you and it has caffeine in it, so it's good for depuffing if that's an issue. All right, moving on to foundation. My absolute favorite is this Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. It seems a little gimmicky and I'll admit that I held off on buying this for a while because I was like, this sounds stupid. It's such a good foundation. So I'm using the shade Vanilla, which is a little dark for me at the moment, but summer's around the corner, so I'll get tan. Okay, so I'm just gonna dot this on my face and then I'm gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. So the key with the beauty blender is to like bounce it on rather than like drag it. If you guys ever watch Wayne Goss and his tutorials on YouTube, he's like the best. That's his tip. So I always do my nose separate because I just have trouble with foundation staying on my nose. So I just kind of take a little bit of extra attention there. So I'm going to dot like more than I would on the rest of my face to my nose. And I'm going to take the pointy side of the beauty blender and same thing, just dab that in. I really don't know how real makeup influencers do it. Like they must have some sort of big monitor or something where they can like actually see themselves or I guess even just a regular mirror. This is also so hard for me because I typically stand when I do my makeup and I'm like this close to my standing mirror. So just, it's rough guys, it's rough. Okay, moving on to my all-time favorite concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm using Light Beige. So typically when you see, like, influencers on YouTube using this guy, they stripe it, and they put a ton on. If you do that and you have trouble with creasing, stop right now. All I'm going to do is put a little on my hand, close this, because we're not going to need any more. Then I'm just going to go in with the pointy end dab it like literally did not take anything off there's the tiniest bit on the end of here and I'm just gonna go in under my eye and so you'll see I'm gonna use like this to cover a fair amount of surface area too okay so I have it like down under I bring it in a triangle to my nose and then I'm just gonna go on top of the eye as well to prime my eye And I feel like I just need a tiny bit more on the top of my eye, so I'm literally dabbing the tiniest bit and going back in. Look at that difference. I used, like, nothing on this eye compared to this. Like, hello? So clearly this is the kind of coverage you get when you, like, really use none at all, so... I encourage you to try to use like a lot less of this product if you're using a lot. So just same thing for the other eye. Okay, amazing. So now what we're gonna do is set this to make sure that we don't get any creasing. So we typically wanna do this pretty fast after we put on our concealer. So I have this Laura Mercier loose powder. What I'm gonna do is just dip a little bit into here. I'm gonna take my Sigma tapered face brush Swirl it around, always tap off the excess, then just go under my eyes, and I'm also going to set my nose, and that's it. I don't really put powder anywhere else. Zooming out again, so you guys are going to notice I do my makeup in like a random order. But moving on to bronzer, so this is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, it is well loved, had this for a while, so everything I know about bronzer I get from Kim Kardashian, so I watched a video with her and she puts her bronzer 
pretty far down her forehead because she wants to make it look like she has this sun-kissed glow. Because if you think about it, if you were at the beach all day, walking on the beach, your forehead gets pretty dark because it's the closest to the sun. So that's kind of what we're trying to mimic. The first time I did this at work, people were literally like, what did you do? Like, you have a glow. And I was like, I just put a shit ton of bronzer on. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm going to take this Sephora Pro Mini Flawless Light Powder Brush. Sometimes I use this. Sometimes I use like a fluffy brush. It just depends on whether my hair is wet or dry. So this is kind of like more precision, but I'll use like a bigger brush if my hair is dry because then I'm not worried about like getting a ton of frizz around my hairline. So I'm just going to go in and then really go in on my hairline. I'm definitely going to need to look in the mirror here because I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and don't worry if it looks like patchy at the moment. We will fix that. I'm a big believer of like, put it on now, blend it later. I have really little to no blending skills. I feel like when I watch actual like makeup people, like when they initially put their eyeshadow, bronzer, anything down, like it looks really good to start and then they blend it and it looks even better. Mine just looks bad. And then it gets like marginally better. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Not claiming to be a professional at all. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to grab our tapered face brush again. So this is the same one I use for powder. I use a lot of brushes over again because who cares? And uh, yeah, it works fine. So just really get in there and we're just going to soften all those lines that we just made. I typically have a better time with bronzer if I'm using my fluffy brush rather than this one. But like I said, because my hair is wet, I really don't like to use the big fluffy brush. Okay. So it still looks kind of ridiculous, but once we put the rest of our makeup on, it looks normal. This is one of those things where if you're not wearing a full face of makeup, it might look a little weird. Like I would put far less bronzer on if I wasn't wearing a full face. So moving on. On to eyebrows. So brows have been a constant struggle for me um, throughout my entire life. When I was in high school, before I started getting my brows done, they pretty much went up to here. Not even kidding. Like they were just not even a shape amorphous blob. It's really important to me that my eyebrows look somewhat normal. Um, they look okay. I typically have to kind of fill in this tail here because they don't grow evenly. So I kind of have to like pluck it so there's really nothing there and then draw in the rest myself, if that's making any sense. Anyway, um, I use a bunch of different brow products. So we're going to start with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So you guys may have used this before or heard about it. It was pretty popular like four years ago maybe. The key with this one is to not use a lot. Some people will feel like they need to just go in and draw a harsh line and fill in really thick strokes with this product. That's not how you're supposed to use it. I watched a video from Samantha Ravendahl, I think is how you pronounce her name, who actually got her brows done by Anastasia herself. And what I will never forget from this video is that Anastasia used feather-like brush strokes and used like the tiniest bit of product. So I always kind of think of that in the back of my head. I think I definitely use a little bit more product than Anastasia, but yeah, just don't draw it on like Sharpie. So the first thing I do is kind of like brush this out, both sides. Not really sure how I'm gonna do this. I guess I'll start with this one. So I'm gonna take this Anastasia brush so this, I don't even know what number this is, but it's one of the ones that's meant for um, dip brows. So it's just kind of like a thin angled brush and it has a spoolie on the other end. So what I'm going to do is just dip the tiniest bit in the pomade and then I kind of start from the middle uh, to the end of the tail. So yeah, we're just going to brush on and like I mentioned... There are parts that I kind of have to like draw in a little bit more. I seriously wish I was not one of those people who like had to be so close to a mirror because this is so difficult. I cannot even sit when I do my makeup. Like I have to stand. Like what, what is that? Why? Maybe I can't see. Maybe I need glasses. Maybe that's actually what it is. Imagine I get glasses and I can suddenly sit and do my makeup. That would be a miracle. Like I've always wanted a vanity and I... And I'm like, I just wouldn't use it. I have to stand. Whew. Also, guys, I'm like sweating. My ring light is hot. I also always have to be careful because I tend to draw this like pointy. So I'm just going to take Q-tip and kind of soften that out. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, so we're not done with brows. I actually have two more products that I use. So the first one being the Anastasia Eyebrow Powder. So I'm just going to take this uh, Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush and go into the darker shade. So yeah, just slightly going over what I did. And I'm going to use the lighter shade towards the throat. Last brow product, three pro three products for the brows, that's a lot. I'm gonna use this Anastasia Brow Gel. Okay, so onto eyes. So this is my favorite part. We're gonna use one of my favorite palettes, which is Anastasia Soft Glam. It has like a very soft front, so it tends to get pretty dirty. And you can tell that this is well-loved. Uh, you can actually also tell which color is well-loved. Look at that my all-time favorite and they don't sell it as a single which is so sad today we're gonna to be sticking to some of the warmer colors I always thought that I was a cool tone person and then I got this palette and I was like wow I look good in orange so we're gonna start with my favorite color so that's tempera this is my all-over eyelid shade so if you just have like a light base color use that and then I'm gonna use this eco tools full shadow brush so this is like a little wider than your typical eyeshadow brush and it's good for just getting your whole eye covered. All right, so really dig into that face shade, like really dig into it, and literally just gonna put it all over. And then I also kind of put it like right here. So next I'm gonna take orange soda, so this is like a light orange shade, and I'm also gonna use burnt orange. So taking a Real Techniques large eyeshadow brush, so this is a little smaller than the paddle I had before. I'm going to start with orange soda and I'm just going to kind of be on the outer third of my lid and then kind of bring that up into the crease. So once again, same philosophy that we had with the bronzer, just put it down first, blend later. So if it looks bad, it's okay. Also, I use this brush for like everything. So there might be other colors mixed in. So that was orange soda, so now I'm going to take the slightly darker color, which was burnt orange. And this one I'm just going to focus on the outer third. So I'm just going to keep this one here. So next I'm going to take Rustic, which is like a reddish brown, and then Cypress Umber, which is a bit more cooler toned, but we're just going to use the tiniest bit of this but starting with Rustic. So same brush because lazy. And I'm gonna start with Rustic. And instead of going for like the outer third, now we're going for like the outer sixth, I guess. <laughs> the outer twelfth, I don't know. Refraction's helping you guys, just like the very edge. So now I'm finally gonna change brushes. So I'm gonna use this small eyeshadow brush from Sonia Kashuk. I don't know if I mentioned, but both the large shadow and the small one, these are both uh, Sonia Kashuk. I got these at Target. So now that's what I'm gonna go in with that dark shade, Cypress Umber. Literally just dabbing the tiniest bit and we're using this kind of along our lash line. So now is when we fix everything. So I'm going to take a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Removal. So I'm gonna take a Real Techniques, <laughs> I can't say that. I'm gonna take a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Say that five times fast. I just tried to, didn't work. This is my all-time favorite blending brush. It fixes all my stupid mistakes. So yeah, we're just gonna blend this out, soften it out a little bit. Then what I'm gonna do is take my Beauty Blender, which is still damp from before, and just kinda like clean up this outer part. This is the only time I really like drag my Beauty Blender. Not necessarily trying to create a line, but like an upward lift. Now I'm gonna take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Whiskey. So this is a reddish brown. I'm really just gonna focus this on the outer edge. So what I'm also going to do is put this in my upper waterline. So then I have this Eco Tools Precise Blending Brush. So you can see that this is kind of like a mini version of the one I was using earlier. And so I'm going to use this to kind of soften out um, this uh, eyeliner that I used. 
right, so before we move on, I'm actually going to go back to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to take both of these shades. I mixed them. So this is Glistening and Fairy. So what I'm going to do is mix both of these with that small shadow brush again. And I'm just going to go right in the middle. Also, this white spot you see on my eyeshadow is, or on my eyelash, is eyelash glue. Because uh, my lashes were falling off the other day, and instead of just fixing them, I decided to put a dot of lash glue on my lid and just instead just completely coated my lash so that has yet to come off. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is also take the same shades and then put them on my brow bone. What I'm going to do is also take my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, this color, Vermeer. I'm just going to put this in the corner of my eye. What I'm going to do is take my Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm going to go in with my Dragon Beauty Transformation Face Palette, I believe this is called. So these are just some brightening powders. So you'll see that we have a pink and a yellow. This is like my absolute holy grail. It is my finishing step. My face makeup does not look done until I use these. But this is just one of those things that gives you like a glow in the areas that you want to highlight. In addition to that, it kind of has light reflecting pigments. When you're using flash photography, there's not flashback necessarily, but it just kind of brings those parts of your face forward and it just looks so good, especially with like iPhone flash, A+. So going in with both, I'm going to be pretty liberal here. And I just go kind of under my eye. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I think I can. But it just kind of like softens and brightens this entire area compared to this one. Just, I feel like it just looks so good. So I'm also going to put this on the chin. Kind of like down the nose a little bit. And then I also do... Great. All right, same brush because who cares? Um, I'm going to take this Milani uh, Rose Blush, which is in the color Tea Rose. I really like my blush to come up kind of near my eye. I kind of bring it all the way up. A little bit of like 80s style blush. And you've got to smile when you're putting on blush, guys. you gotta, you got to see the apples of your cheeks. Next, I'm going to take this Spectrum A21 brush. So I'm going to use that with this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter. So this is a duo, Chic Freak and Girl Next Door. I use both, literally just going in with both colors. And once again, I'm going to smile, find the highlights. So I am a mascara junkie, and I am someone who layers mascaras. When I was in college, I, like, sometimes didn't have money to buy more mascara. So I would just layer, like, all of the half-dried out ones that I had. And sometimes I was like, holy crap, I actually like how this looks better than a fresh mascara. So I've kind of, like, kept that habit going. I layer three different mascaras at the moment. But there's kind of a method to my madness, so I'll explain it. So currently I'm using Maybelline Great Lash Big, a cosmetics lash blowout, and Milk Kush mascara. If you want to do this at home, you obviously don't have to get these specific ones, but this is kind of like how I choose which ones I'm going to layer. So typically I try to do a lengthening mascara and one that's going to be clumping. I also think of them as hard and soft mascaras. So both of these I think of as hard mascaras. So they have like more of like a stiff applicator and they are better for lengthening and separating my lashes. Whereas if you've ever used this one, it's very clumpy and it kind of gets you that volume that you might want from a mascara. All of these together, great combo. So I've also really liked this and L'Oreal Carbon Black if you're looking for like some good drugstore combos. But layering mascaras is like my jam. Alright, so I'm going to start by curling my lashes. So I have this Tarte Lash Curler. Starting with the Maybelline Great Lash Big. Moving on to the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. Next we're going to move on to Milk Makeup Kush. Also like, if you can't tell I'm from New Jersey, I like long spidery lashes. 
And so then we're going to do Maybelline Great Lash Big again, just to kind of separate and then, you know, do some final lengthening, kind of brushing out that Milk Mascara. So it's a little clumpy still, but that's how I like it. Now we're going to do one final mascara, but not for the top. So this is CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. That is so freaking hard to say. This is just a brown mascara. I tend to like brown for my bottom lashes because they're freakishly long and they're blonde at the end, so you can't really tell. So then when I actually do put on like full mascara, it's like, holy crap, what is going on there? So we're just going to keep it, keep it low key. So I mostly just focus on the outer corner. So then what I'm going to do is take a napkin and wipe off my lips because I got foundation all over them. I'm going to put on some chapstick. So then I'm going to take one of my favorite Tarte lipsticks, which is in the cutest packaging. So this is Rum Punch, and it is just the best nude. If you like a Your Lips But Better nude, anything that leans warm, Rum Punch is the one for you. Just so pretty. All right, and then over top of that, I'm gonna put this Marc Jacobs lip gloss. So this is typically not a color I would buy. I think I would just assume that this would be too dark for my skin tone as a lip gloss, but like, it is so nice. It just has the worst packaging where the lip gloss just gets all over it, I don't know. But anyway, just gonna put this over top. All right, so then I'm gonna set my face with MAC Fix Plus. So this is multi-use. It could be used as a primer, kind of a midday refresher, or a setting spray, which is what I use it for most often. So since my hair is like still drying, what I'm gonna do is make a circle around my head just to kind of like protect my hair a little bit. Shake this up. This is probably gonna be the most unflattering. And I'm just gonna spray it on my face. I do a couple sprays. Alrighty, so my face has to dry after that. I'm going to put some clothes on, scrunch my hair out, and then I'll show you guys the final product. Alrighty guys, so here's the final look. I am so happy with how this came out today. I hope you guys enjoyed this like sort of tutorial, but if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions of stuff you wanna see me make next, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys soon. So now we're going to do one final mascara, but not for the top. So this is CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. Guys, these hard to pronounce names. So this is CoverGirl Last... <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, so this is CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. Ooh, 